So Alan, I'm seeing you and all these other makers talk about IFRA sheets. I'm not really sure what this is and why you talk about it so much and why it matters. Hello everyone, if you're new here, I'm Alan with Earthglow and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. On this channel, I share tips and tricks on how to make quality candles coming from someone with a background in chemistry. So if you're new, subscribe, it's absolutely free and tap the little bell in the corner and I'll notify you each time I post a new video so that you don't miss out on anything. Now stay tuned until the end of this video because I'm gonna share some really important information if you like to blend fragrances that I don't think I've seen anywhere else online. IFRA is a global organization organization that provides information on the safety of fragrances for a variety of different applications that we may use them for in our small business. And they break these into categories. You probably heard me talk about category nine, category four, all these different category 10 for candles. Um, all these different categories dictate the safe usage of that fragrance oil for that particular application. And the purpose is not only to make sure that we're safe making and using the products, but also that they are safe for the environment, for general human health, and that we are promoting the safe usage of fragrance ingredients. Now, one cool thing about IFRA is that it is recognized worldwide. So no matter where you're from, these regulations will hold true. And as I mentioned earlier, each category applies to different types of products. So for example, category four applies to fine fragrances. Category nine applies to cold processed soaps. And when you're purchasing fragrances, the IFRA document is one of the very first things that you're gonna to wanna to consult even before you purchase that fragrance oil to make sure that whatever application you're gonna be using that oil in, that it is safe to be used at the percentage that you wanna use it in. The last thing that I wanna mention is that bonus that I mentioned at the beginning about fragrance blending. And this is information that is often misinterpreted. I've seen a number of makers misusing um, IFRA in terms of when they're doing fragrance blending. So say for example, I wanna make a perfume and I wanna use Candle Science Neroli and White Jasmine blended with Nature's Garden Bergamot. And yes, you can blend fragrances from different companies and still be IFRA compliant. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So. When you're looking at the IFRA sheet for the Candle Science Neroli and White Jasmine for fine fragrance, which would be category four, you can see that it has a pretty high usage rate. Now, say for example, I want you to make a perfume with a 20% strength. So looking at the Candle Science Neroli and White Jasmine, I should be perfectly fine to do that based on the allowance for category four, which is the category for fine fragrance. But looking at the Nature's Garden Bergamot fragrance, you can see that the maximum usage for category four is much lower. And so the problem is if I wanted to do a 20% strength, I would not be able to use any of the Nature's Garden Bergamot. And the reason for that is the if you're mixing two different fragrances or three or four, basically if you're blending more than one fragrance, the lowest maximum IFRA usage for that category dictates the IFRA usage for the entire blend. So because Nature's Garden Bergamot has a maximum usage for category four of 6.9%, that perfume that I'm making could only have a total of 6.9% fragrance load. And I hear you all saying, oh my God, no, 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 that's not right, Alan. That means that that scent could only have that much. And then I could fill that remaining, uh, what would I have, remaining 13.1% um, with my Candle Science Neroli and White Jasmine. And you might think that that's absolutely fine, right? Because I've only used the maximum, the 6.9%. I've stayed within my range for the Nature's Garden and the Candle Science is well within its range. But here's the problem. Each fragrance is, com is comprised of multiple different aromatics. And each of those aromatics are essentially multiple different chemicals. A lot of them are natural, some of them are lab produced, um, a lot of them are bioidentical. The point I'm trying to make here is that they're all comprised of multiple ingredients. And oftentimes fragrances will have overlapping ingredients. So when you have a fragrance that is already at the very top of its maximum usage, and one of those ingredients say is at the very top of its maximum usage, and then you blend that with another fragrance, and that other fragrance may have that same ingredient, but now all of a sudden 
you've gone over the maximum usage of that particular ingredient. And this is really problematic because the maximum usage for the total blend should not go above whatever the maximum usage is for that particular ingredient. So a lot of the times you may be able to get away with blending two fragrances with going to the maximum of each one, but this is not the way that you should be going about this to make a safe product because if you exceed the maximum or are very close to exceeding it of a particular ingredient of one fragrance and then you go and add another fragrance that has that same ingredient, you could surpass the maximum for that particular ingredient. And you may not know what that ingredient even is because suppliers are not, they do not have to disclose, fragrance manufacturers do not even have to disclose to the suppliers that they're selling their oils to. So like for example, to Candle Science or Nature's Garden, the amounts of each aromatic that they are using in that blend. So um, this is a point that a lot of people do not understand and oftentimes misinterpret, and that would make their products not if we're compliant technically. So if you're blending three different oils together and you're looking at category nine for cold process soaps, for example, and one of your oils has a maximum usage of 42% for category nine, and another one has a maximum usage of 3.1% for category nine, and another one has a max usage of 82.6% for category nine. Your maximum amount of fragrance with that blend of those three oils could only be 3.1%. Even though the other two oils had a much higher maximum usage, your maximum usage for category nine is dictated by the fragrance containing the lowest maximum usage for that category. If this is still confusing, please leave me a comment. I know this can be a very challenging topic and often times I see this a very challenging topic for new makers and for people who may not be new, but just may be um, uninformed. But anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. And if you have more questions, leave me a comment down below. I'm happy to try to answer all of them. I'm sending all of you peace, love, and light, and I'm wishing all of you happy candle making.